Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing three different index card brands including how they perform with fountain pens. I have here uh, three different brands. These are all three by five index cards which is the size that I use most often so I have quite the stash. These index cards are not designed for use with fountain pens. There is nothing on the label that says they are designed for use with fountain pens. But if you use fountain pens with index cards or if you prefer to use fountain pens for everything, I think it would be useful for you to know which ones of the index cards I have here you can use with fountain pens. Now take note, I am located in the Philippines and these are the index card brands that are uh, most easily available and accessible to everyone. I have here the Corona brand, the Veco brand, and the Green Apple brand. And I'm just taking them all out of the packaging so you, we can all see them better. Right off the bat, you can see that the colors of the three are not the same. The Corona is an off-white color. The Veco is a bright white and the green apple is also an off-white color. When comparing the color of the Corona and the green apple, the Corona is very slightly brighter than the green apple. You can barely see it, but the difference is there. I personally prefer off-white paper because they are kinder on the eyes, they're not too bright, they're not too stark, but that is just my personal preference. Now let us compare thicknesses. I do not have the tool to measure the individual index card thickness. I think the tool is called a caliper. I don't have that. So what I'm going to do is measure the thickness of the entire stack. Each pack has 100 sheets as stated in the packaging and these are all freshly opened. I opened them all for the first time when filming this video so I'm assuming they're all 100 sheets. The Corona stack is 18 millimeters thick. The Veco stack is 15 millimeters thick, and the Green Apple stack is 14 millimeters thick. So we can safely assume that the Corona Index cards are the thickest among the three. Um, the individual Corona Index cards are thickest, followed by the Veco. The Green Apple looks to be the thinnest index card but it has a very small difference in thickness when compared with the Veco. The Corona, on the other hand, is significantly thicker. Now it's time to make some writing samples using a fountain pen, starting with the Corona. For writing the samples, I am using this Jinhao 992 pen. It has an extra fine nib, and the ink that I'm using with it is a Diamine Aqua Lagoon. This is a nice blue ink. I'm assuming that people who use index cards for note taking would use the usual ink colors of blue, black, maybe red or green, but mostly blue and black or blue black. So here is a blue writing sample for you. Surprisingly, there is shading on the Corona index card. Shading is a quality of fountain pen writing in which some strokes are darker than others because some strokes get more ink than others. I think it looks pretty and there is no feathering which is good and the back there is a very slight bleed through but only very slight very subtle it shows clearly on the camera however it's right there but it's not uh, it's not so pronounced but there is bleed through next let us have a look at the green apple index cards Again, the same pen for a fair comparison. This index card does show some decent shading. And it also has no feathering, but there is more bleed through at the back. The green apple significantly has more bleed through at the back compared with the Corona. And finally, we have the Veco index cards, same pen, same ink. And it looks to me like the paper shows less shading compared with the other two and a little bit of feathering. Just a little bit of feathering, but I can see it. Let me know if you see the feathering here. But at the back, it shows absolutely no bleed through and I'm quite surprised at that. If you really detest 
bleed through but do not mind shading, I would recommend the Veco Index card for you. And here's a look at all three writing samples in a single frame as a still photo so you can see the difference better. Honestly, if you're just jotting down research notes on here, it doesn't really matter if there is shading or no shading. Shading is really just more of an aesthetic characteristic of fountain pen writing, and shading is not necessary for legibility. The presence of feathering, however, is more disturbing in my opinion. But the feathering on the Veco is hardly noticeable from this distance. You do not stare at your index card notes an inch away from your eyes. Nobody does that. But if you utilize both the front and the back sides of the index cards and you use a found pen for it, stay away from the green apple. The Corona should be fine for the most part, but the Veco would be the best if you write on both sides of the card with found pens. All of these cards, of course, will work perfectly fine with pencils and ballpoint pens and gel pens. They will work with them with absolutely no issue. I myself just use a mechanical pencil with a 4B lead, so I prefer the green apple. It's thinner, so I can fit more index cards in a single set of discs for a disc-bound index card notebook. And I like the color because the off-white is easier on the eyes. It's not so blinding. And I have made a super fat notebook out of more than two packs of the Green Apple 3x5 index cards. I have a video about that fat little notebook and I will link it in the description box. And that is my little video for you today. I hope you found this helpful. Do you use index cards? What do you use them for? Is it for research? Do you use them for planning? Do you use them for notes while doing your personal reading of the novels that you read for pleasure? Do you bind the index cards into notebooks? What size index cards are your favorite? Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.